Uh, Yet another reason that WCTR was so impressive to us on our visit here, there was it was kind of a who's who in the station lobby. On any given day, you know, there'd be different members of the community having coffee together. And to me, that was good to see, because you don't often see that in the bigger radio companies anymore. Uh, members of the community directly interfacing with other members of the community in your lobby. So what that told me is, is this was the place to be. This was the meeting place. Uh, that the station was directly tied into the community. And I love that, because, you know, I've worked in many market sizes throughout my career. I've been in this about 37 years. And, you know, everywhere from you know, this size on up to Tampa. And I always found that I wanted to return to the type of radio that I began doing. You know, my first job was at a station in Parkersburg, West Virginia, where I basically, you know, pestered the station owner to give me a job doing, you know, shifts that nobody else would do, the overnights and the Sunday mornings. And uh, it just, I, I like the fact that you could have a radio station that was made by people in the community for people in the community. And I wanted to be that neighborhood broadcaster where people can walk in and actually talk to the guy who owns the radio station about what's happening in the community. Mm -hmm. And it's someone here who's involved and who knows. So I think it doesn't get much better than that, and I saw a tremendous opportunity uh, in WCTR to be that radio station. You come a long way from you know being a kid and having that transistor radio that we laid you know laid in bed at night listening to, and now here we are, you know, with uh, AM and FM out there. But things have changed. You have you have all these platforms like Sirius Radio that people want to access because they love to have their favorite songs available. But what we offer is a locality. We offer that community, that touch with this local area. But we can we can compete with that by you know expanding out we have online access through our website so we stream online so no matter where you are in the country you can stream WCTR so you can stay in touch with this local community you know if you're on vacation or if you're a Washington College alum and you want to see what's going on in Kent and Queen Anne's County you can stream WCTR if you live here and you go on vacation and you want to stay in touch we have a smartphone app. You can download TuneIn and you can look for WCTR and you can take us anywhere you are. We're just as cutting edge, but we don't lose our locality by doing that. And I think that's what's very appealing. Yeah, you can listen to Sirius and XM and you can hear all the you know hits from any genre. You want the 60s, the 70s, the 1920s, all sports. <laughs> but really, what you find is missing when you listen to that over a period of time is, well, what, gee, what's the local weather forecast going to be? Or I wonder what's going on in town or what happened at you know, last night's county commission meeting. Those are things that you're going to hear on Sirius and XM. And those are ways that we can reflect what's going on in the community and in the town. You're not going to have the kind of guests that we have on every day. Uh, that would be available with satellite radio. So you're really kind of out of touch with what's happening locally if you're going to a satellite meeting. Uh, but what we're most happy about is the fact that with these new platforms, they've adopted well to radio. You know, a lot of people thought these platforms would replace radio, but radio is still the entertainment medium that's being produced through that platform. So in other words, when you pick up your smartphone and you leave Kent or Queen Anne's counties, you can still get us anywhere on the globe. So anybody who wants to follow Washington College basketball or lacrosse can do that right from the palm of their hand anywhere. Right. So we're very happy about that. We're able to take that medium, but yet still bring Ken and Queen Anne's counties to anybody, anywhere, at any time. Well, probably the first challenge is your first year in business as a new station owner is, of course, you know, getting integrated in the community and getting to know people and so forth, which I feel like we've done and done very well. Uh, thanks in large part to the embracement of the community. People have been very welcoming to us. They seem very glad that we're here, we're happy to be here. It's kind of a mutual love because, you know, there was uh, a need to bring more community radio back, which we've done, and the community needed more coverage. So we feel that it was, you know, it was a good partnership. We haven't had too much challenges with sponsorship because I think with community service uh, comes a relationship with the community that they give back to you when you give to them. So right. that's just an automatic thing. It's very symbiotic. Mm -hmm. um, probably the greatest challenge now, though, is, is uh, Putting out the word about all the changes at WCTR, getting more people to sample the radio station, uh, getting more word out, and we already have a plan in place for that because we've brought back a lot of the things that are kind of core to WCTR and its community. We're spending a lot of time out covering fairs and festivals and being at places. Uh, we have a live setup now that we take everywhere.
Uh, we have the ability to do remote broadcasts, which we've done for a number of years at WCTR. You had yes. Keith, who was doing mornings for a long time on the radio station, Keith mm -hmm. Thompson, who's really a fixture with WCTR as much as the bricks and the uh, furniture. Mm -hmm. uh, Keith has been here forever, and Keith is doing afternoons now. That enabled Leslie and I to come in and do mornings, which in turn gave us more local programming on the air every right. day. More live somebody. Now, it was important to us to do that. We do have some satellite programming that we run during the day, like Dave Ramsey, which is a financial advice program, but we think that's a good complement to what we do, and it's only for a couple hours a day. But that just enabled us to do more of what we're very good at, and it's live and local programming. So now, instead of having just one local morning show, we have a live local morning show and a live local afternoon show. And to take that further, we went what we call full service. So to tag on to the community aspect, we still have a lot of the live interviews and some of those things with local officials. Chris Serena was here this morning. We still have our junior DJ that we do every Wednesday, you know, th with character counts. Um, we have Dr. Davenport that owns Tracy Smoothies comes in on Tuesdays and gives healthy food tips, things like that. We still have Loretta from the Chamber comes in, the United Way comes in. All these people still come in and talk and share what's going on in the community so everybody can keep abreast. We, of course, have local sports with, uh, right now we're doing Washington College basketball and we have Washington College lacrosse we always bring. But we're also play, brought back music. Uh, we play music of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Um, and not necessarily the same songs that you would hear on the other 300 stations. We play things that kind of, we call them oh wows, that kind of make you kind of step back and go, oh my gosh, I haven't heard that in forever. They aren't the same songs that, you know, the top 40 stations of the day would have beat to death. You know, when you listen, sometimes you get a impression that you know current radio stations only have like maybe five records that they like to play over and over and so with the oldie stations so instead of hearing you know the typical you know uh, honky talk woman from the rolling stones you might hear something a little deeper right right uh, so we're trying to add some variety with some of the songs that you can't hear elsewhere with local personalities introducing the music and talking about things that are going on on the weekend in between right so you still have your community touch and you have a little bit of music but it's a different angle Music. Still maintain some of the things that made CTR what it is, but we we've kind of taken it. It's more lighthearted. I think it's more energetic, and that's what we want everyone to know. The WCTR has kind of it's kind of risen from the the ashes, if you will, and it's much it's fun to listen to. It's enjoyable and it's it's energizing.